Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and in today's video we are going to be doing some good old summer cleaning, just tackling the mess that accumulates every single day with having my four kids home from school. The house just gets a lot messier, a lot faster, so we're going to be spending pretty much an entire day cleaning the house. But if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. I am a stay-at-home mom to four. I have two girls and two boys. So on my channel, I love sharing realistic cleaning motivation, just your everyday mom trying to keep up with the messes. So if you enjoy cleaning content, I'd love for you to subscribe and stick around. Today we're going to be starting off in my bedroom. I really wanted to wash the bedding because it had been a little while and then of course tackle the mounds of clothes that were piling up on top of my dresser. I must admit my bedroom kind of gets neglected just because I don't really go in here throughout the day so it's kind of an afterthought to get in there and start cleaning it. But today's the day we're going to get it back under control. I really needed to just dust in there too because it had been a little while since I wiped down the dressers. So we're going to be tackling my bedroom. I did have a few spots on my sheets, which I wasn't sure what it was. It's like a grease stain almost. So I wanted to make sure I sprayed it down with my stain remover and it seemed to do a pretty good job. I missed a couple spots because I still have a few in my sheets, but I'm really happy that it did get out the stains that I sprayed because they had been driving me crazy. I've been using that all natural spray and I really love it. I actually need to order some more because I'm just about to run out, but the scent of it is so nice. It's a eucalyptus scent and I'm really loving it. And for my laundry detergent, I've started using the cast aisle soap. You guys know I was using the Molly Suds, which I think does a great job at cleaning, but it doesn't leave any scent behind. And y'all know me, I love my laundry to smell good, but I would love the best of both worlds of having an all natural cleaner, plus having a good scent left behind in my laundry. And I really feel like the cast aisle soap is a win-win. It does great at getting off all the dirt and grime out of my clothes and my laundry smells so good when I pull it out of the washer and put it into the dryer. So I've been using the peppermint and oh, it smells so good. Next I'm going to be trying out my lavender because I have it in both of those scents and then as you guys know I'm starting to put essential oils onto my laundry balls and I have some essential oils that are coming in and I'm really excited to get those and share them with you guys to see if it makes my laundry smell super good when I pull it out of the dryer. had to go make me some afternoon coffee to keep me motivated <laughs> to get the cleaning done today. And I've actually started going with no sugar in my coffee recently. That has been the goal for me is to get away from any sort of added sugar throughout the day as much as I possibly can. Of course, I still have treats and stuff whenever I want them, but because coffee is something that I consume every single day and at least two times a day, I really wanted to get away from added sugars. And I was using the date syrup, which I thought was really good in the coffee, and it was a very subtle sugar taste. So it has really helped me transition into just using half and half. So I'm currently only using half and half in my coffee and I am so proud of myself, you guys. I have the biggest sweet tooth. Like y'all don't understand. I am a sugar addict. So this is a really big accomplishment and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I am so proud of myself to be drinking coffee with just half and half and now I'm using about three to four tablespoons in my coffee and I usually drink about 16 ounces in the morning and then 16 ounces in the afternoon so I'm a huge coffee drinker and I've just started purchasing the mushroom coffee. I don't know if you guys have been seeing it all over Instagram if you guys are on there, but I've been seeing tons of ads and them talking about all of the benefits of drinking mushroom coffee. And I was like, you know what? 
let me try because why not if it's going to give me some extra benefits it's supposed to help your mental focus and give you better energy so i just bought some the coffee tastes exactly the same which was my biggest fear i was kind of skeptical thinking like oh my goodness like what is my coffee going to taste like but honestly it tastes exactly the same it tastes like regular coffee so i've been using that and so far, I haven't really noticed a difference. I've only been drinking it for two days now, but I'll let you guys know if it's worth trying to switch over to a mushroom coffee or not. But so far, at least the taste isn't any different. Yeah, I never met someone like you. Oh, to your mama, she a blessing. There's nothing that I would undo. We'll never hit the yes, snows on you. Always trying to show you something new. I'm currently using the Jaws Glass Cleaner, which I love the Jaws Glass Cleaner. It works great. I love all their products for like cleaning. They do a really great job. I use the glass cleaner on my stainless steel as well, which I feel like it does a good job. Um, it doesn't leave any streaks behind or anything, but I still haven't found like the stainless steel cleaner that I really love as much as my yellow Windex. So when I find it, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> and I'm using the Aunt Fanny wood cleaner. I've mentioned this before. I absolutely love this wood cleaner. It's in a lemon scent and it smells great and cleans really good. It leaves your wood looking nice and shiny when you get done cleaning it. And I just get this off of Amazon. As I was wiping down my husband's dresser, I noticed that we had pencil marks on the wall. And Ethan, my three year old, has been going around and putting pencil marks. In random spots on the walls I'm like what in the world child I don't know why he has decided to do this but I've been telling him no more pencils because you can't be trusted he keeps marking up my walls but thankfully pencil comes off really easy I just use my magic eraser and it comes right off but I'm telling you you guys every time I turn around I have a new surprise on the wall this corner stand was super dusty so i'm going to give it a good wipe down and if you guys remember, I used to have a wax warm warmer <laughs> over there in the corner and I recently took it down because I really want to replace all of my warmers with diffusers. I currently have two diffusers so far. I think I'm going to purchase another one soon to put into our bedroom because like I said, I ordered some new essential oils and I'm really excited to start using that to make my house smell good. So I'm on the hunt for a cute one to go over here. I really love the Young Living one. Like if you guys have seen that diffuser, it is gorgeous, but it's so expensive. I've heard that Amazon has like a knockoff one. So I think I might look into that because I love the way that it looks, but I just can't justify spending that much money on a diffuser, no matter how cute it is. <laughs> But now it's time to head into my bathroom. And like I said, my room was so neglected. <laughs> so we're going to get this cleaned up. I want it to wipe down my bathtub as well. I'm showing you guys my new wooden brush. It's a body brush. And I've been doing a lot of research into like what the benefits are of brushing your body. I guess it's called like dry brushing. Um, but I went with this wooden one and so far I'm really liking it. It's supposed to help break up like the fascia underneath your skin and help with circulation with cellulite. 
with you know all of that so I've been doing that recently I'll let y'all know if I notice a difference in the cellulite because I definitely got cellulite on my thighs and those are that's kind of like my trouble area that's where I gain weight first is my thighs and my hips so I've been using that I'll let y'all know what I think about it but I just got it off of Amazon I swear I order everything off Amazon <laughs> but I got it off of there it was very inexpensive so I think I spent like nine bucks and I was like ah. Eh. If it doesn't work, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt anything. Uh, it's just wasted time <laughs> on brushing myself. I've been trying my best for a while. Trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile. Even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box. And as y'all can see, I'm using a seventh generation spray in the bathroom. I have bought a lot of like natural sprays to try out to see like which one's my favorite and stuff. The seventh generation, I feel like it works really great. It smells pretty good, not super strong, but I did end up looking it up on the EWG website and it's just not the best all natural cleaner. So just for those reasons, I probably won't purchase it again. But as for a cleaner, I think it does work really good. And if you guys are looking for kind of like a more affordable, easily accessible product, I feel like seventh generation is a good one. I just want to go my own way. Gonna let the past burn down. Cause honestly, don't want to be stuck in more in conversations with you. With you. I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with a new Yeah I'm on my way now The toilet was definitely in need of a good scrubbing. I needed to clean the inside and then put a new little gel stamp inside of there. I have been obsessed with these toilet stamps. I just think they are the cutest thing. I don't feel like they work great for a long time. I feel like for the first few days, you can really smell them every time you flush the toilet. But for some reason, after a few days, I feel like I can't really smell them anymore. But they're cute and they were super inexpensive. I got mine off of Timu. I wanna say it was like a dollar for each one, and I have every single color because I love them so much. I'll be going away for a while. Oh, and I don't know what I'll find. Maybe I can be a rock star, playing songs on my guitar. I know I have to be somewhere else to be able to find myself. Now it's time to clean my bathtub. This is definitely one area that I really don't like cleaning. I don't like cleaning bathtubs and showers and then putting away laundry. Like those are my least favorite things to do. And I always put it off until it's like noticeable. And yeah, by this time there was like hair and dust buildup. So it was time to tackle it. You guys know I like to fill up my bathtub with really hot water. I just do enough to dip my towel in so I can continuously keep wiping it down. I feel like that works the best for me. And as you can see, I have done a lot of work on decluttering my bathtub area. I used to have seriously like 20 plus products over here they were piled up on the windowsill on on the sides of the bathtub so I've done a lot of work at decluttering and being a little bit more minimal I'm really trying to not overbuy and fully use up a product before I buy another one especially when it comes to like feminine products like shampoo makeup sprays because I feel like I use like half of a bottle and then I buy a new one and then it's like a cycle. Like I never fully finish anything and then I just have a bunch of clutter. So I've been working on that and I finally found a brand of shampoo and conditioner that is all natural, smells really good and works really good for my hair. I'll be sure to link it. I think the name of it is a cure. 
I believe is how you say it, but I'll be sure to link it down below in case you guys are interested, but I love it. It's the yellow bottles and it's in the almond scent and oh, it smells so good. But as you can see, it's now the next day. I wanted to get some dishes done. I was going to the gym, so I wanted to quickly tackle the dishes that was left over. My daughter loads the dishwasher, so I do the hand washing, and I just didn't get around to it the night before, so I wanted to do that before we left for the gym. And then as I, whenever I got back from the gym, we're gonna be finishing up all the cleaning. I really wanted to shampoo the carpet. You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't I've been seeing a few of my friends here on YouTube do Q and A's during their cleaning videos. And I was like, you know what? That's a really great idea. I have not done one of those in probably years. I feel like I have not done a Q and A while I cleaned in a really long time. So I thought it would be fun to answer some questions. Anything that you guys have for me, definitely leave it down in the comments. I'm going to save all of them. And then I plan on putting that into a cleaning video whenever we get back from Virginia. I already have my next video filmed, so it won't be in the next one, but the one after that, it should be in there. I'm going to also put a post up on the community tab and ask on Instagram so we can get a bunch of different ones. So ask away. It can be about anything. It doesn't have to be just about cleaning. It can be about my personal life or when I was a kid or whatever you want to know about me. I love Q and A's because I feel like it really helps you get to know someone a little bit better. Like, of course you guys see me and my family and you know, you know what's going on in my life, but I feel like you don't really get to know like deeper, like about my past and stuff like that. So I love doing Q and A's so you guys can get a better insight of me as a person and my upbringing and stuff. So ask away. You know we should work it out. You know we should work it out. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions. To know you better But can you be trusted Will you take me for granted And will you lock me down I know I feel it's something for you The way you look, the way you laugh And how you move <laughs> It is now a little bit later I'm back from the gym and ready to start tackling this rug in here. I've been meaning to shampoo this for a while just because this is a very high traffic area and it was definitely time for me to clean under the couches as well. So we're gonna get this cleaned up and then we're gonna shampoo this rug. The dogs were loving me cleaning underneath the couch. They were dying to eat all the crumbs that were underneath of here. It was so funny. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. So I asked y'all in my previous video if you guys enjoyed seeing painting content in my cleaning videos and a lot of you guys said that you do enjoy seeing it. So I plan on going to get a color for our downstairs bathroom because 
the kids have squirted so much of the cast aisle soap onto the wall and I've mentioned this before we have flat paint so it would not come off it just like permanently stained the wall so I plan on getting a color and painting in there. It's a super small bathroom, so it shouldn't take me too long, but I'm really excited to pick out a color. I'm not quite sure which one yet. I plan on looking on Pinterest for some inspo, and then I will definitely share me painting that and just do like a little before and after for you guys. Since y'all said y'all do like seeing those, which makes me happy because I feel like there's a lot of little projects I would like to do, but I just worry, you know, if y'all actually want to see it or not. I've also really been thinking about painting that stand right here that you see in the background. The top is so destroyed from the kids knocking over the Scentsy like wax melts onto it. It's just permanently full of grease stains because this isn't like a finished um, wood. It's like, I don't know what it is. It doesn't have any stain on it. So everything just absorbed right into it. So I've kind of been thinking about just repainting the top of it, maybe like an off-white color, just something that would go with the living room or maybe even like a cream. But my husband was like, no, I don't think it'll look good. So I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I want to just paint the top of it or paint the entire stand like a new color. I don't know. But that's definitely another project that I've been thinking about doing. And if I do, I will be sure to share it with you guys. But look at this disgusting water. I'm so glad that I shampooed this rug. It was long overdue. That water was so disgusting. last area that really needed to be tackled was the dining room area and this back door I just noticed there was tons of fingerprints on the door so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down and then we're gonna clean up my dining room nook area and then the entire downstairs is going to be clean the only area that we didn't tackle was in the front room which really doesn't get too messy it's just kind of my workout area and my desk so that area was clean, thank goodness. So we just needed to get this cleaned up and then it would be time to start dinner. Which I'd love to know, do you guys like if I include a recipe here and there in my videos, like a dinner idea or a dessert idea? Because I think it'd be fun to mix it up a little bit and throw in a recipe here and there every once in a while. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But we are at the end of all of today's cleaning motivation. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I do upload cleaning motivation weekly and I would love to have you here. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.